Hi guys, it's Kirsty. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about acceptance and why it's not the same as agreement. And this is, I think this is quite important to discuss because when we learn about OCD recovery and the principle of acceptance, it can sometimes sound a little bit like we're expected to agree with the thoughts and to accept them as absolute truths. And that's not the case. Um, acceptance is a state of acknowledgement and allowance. So you're acknowledging and you're allowing something to just be as it is. If you were to, uh, say, agree with your thoughts as absolute truths, then you're not allowing actually for any sense of uncertainty there. Whereas the acceptance of the possibility, as small as it may be, that true that your thoughts or theme are true, even if it's the most minute possibility, if you can accept that uncertainty, then you'll be more likely to be able to not try to resist the thoughts, feelings and urges. Because acceptance is to not resist. And if you do resist something, that means that that requires energy. And if you do something that requires energy, you're putting fueling to something. So if you're actively resisting your thoughts and urges and feelings, then you're, you're giving them more attention and more energy. And that's what keeps them coming back. So in turn, by agreeing with the thoughts, that may well have a lot of negative emotions tied into it as well. So as well as that meaning that you're giving the thoughts, feelings, urges, lots of attention, you're trying to force yourself to agree with them, which may create extra unpleasant emotions, that may add to the thoughts, feelings, urges to keep coming back. Whereas if you don't resist them, you're accepting them, you're learning to not see them with as much horror as you had previously. So there's less negative emotions tied in with them. Actively agreeing with it all and saying it's all, it's all true is like it's taking an action. And surely taking too much action on our thoughts, feelings and urges previously is what has contributed to us being where we are now so the more action and attention the more action you take the more attention you give them the more you get sucked into the cycle so if what you've done previously hasn't worked maybe it's time to consider doing something a bit different and to not take action so by learning to accept the very small possibility that your previously feared scenario might be true, you're not saying that you agree with it, that you want it or that you like it. You're just continuing to live your life, assuming that what you're experiencing is OCD as it has been every other time previously. But in doing so, you are accepting the very small risk that your feared scenario is true. So you're continuing to live your life as if it is OCD, but because in the moment it does feel real, if you can accept that the feared scenario, as low as this possibility may be, may be true, then there's less need to resist the thoughts. There's less need to do anything about it. There's less need to... Uh, spend your time and energy on your compulsions and there's less need to avoid doing the things that you need to do to live your life or that you want to do in your life. So if you find yourself trying to force yourself to agree with the thoughts as they come in, it could be a good idea to step back and question why you're trying to agree with the thoughts. What are you trying to achieve there? Are you trying to achieve certainty because you're not going to get that? Or are you trying to uh, force acceptance almost in order to 
get the hell rid of any thoughts, feeling, urges that you don't like to force recovery um, to make it all go away. Because again, that that's not going to happen by learning to by learning acceptance and by reaching a but getting closer to acceptance what we're d learning to do is to see the feared scenario in a different way which helps to remove some of the negative emotions that it may previously have evoked that's not necessarily you don't have to like it still it doesn't necessarily have to be the desired outcome but there's not anxiety behind it or depression you don't see it as being the end of the world. So when a thought related to this scenario comes into your mind, it doesn't send it doesn't send your mind into alarm mode. So the thoughts feel a lot less intrusive and there are fewer negative emotions attached and then it does become easier then to leave the thoughts there and continue with what you're doing. If you're agreeing and jumping all over the thought, you're not leaving the thought there.